morning everyone. Today we are going to do a little video on the SD821 Pretty Hanger Covers 2 on Darlene's website. She had them on sale last week. This is the actual uh, designs when they're completed. They look absolutely beautiful. So today we're going to do one side, although I have already done uh, the other side, which I've, I haven't rinsed out the rinse rinse away yet but I have already done that side so this will be the second side for you all to see the completed things so they come in two pieces they come in uh, three different sizes they come in the five by seven the uh, six by eight and the six by ten which is the six by ten six by eight fits in the same hoop um, a couple of things you need you need some rinse away now ladies please make sure or gentlemen make sure you use the cloth type rinse away not the plastic one the plastic rinse away tends to stretch and it won't hold it there's quite a bit of density in the stitches here and it just won't hold it for you if you don't use the correct uh, stabilizer so what I've done is I've hooped my hoop that's it's called rinse away or water soluble or whatever you want to call it uh, but at, at the moment it's called rinse away I've hooped two layers two layers into my hoop and I've just stabilized, stabilized it a little bit by just putting a couple of pins just in there so it doesn't slide. You don't have to use pins. It's only what I do. I'm not suggesting go ahead and use pins at all. I also purchased a little bit of poplin a while back uh, to, to do some things for the, fire, for the fire people. So I'm using a bit of the poplin. I've cut four pieces. And you'll measure it once you put it in your hoops, girls. But my five by seven hoop uh, my pieces of fabric were only eight by four or 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters so I cut four so that's the top that's the bottom and then of course I used two pieces for the finished one which was also the top and the bottom for the top one I have uh, ironed some uh, interfacing on it just to stop it from moving too much because as we know poplum has got quite a bit of stretch and if you don't stabilize your fabric, you're gonna end up with a mess. So the top piece only, I haven't done the back because the back gets sewn on last and the, the top piece is where all the stitching is going to be. So we're going to do this. It's very simple. I printed out Darlene's instructions and there's really um, not much to it. It's very, very easy uh, and simple to go. So to start with, we put the wash away stabilizer in the hoop uh, and then we're going to put the hoop in the machine and stitch the first color. I have changed the colors girls. I have changed um, The white into a green. I've changed the dark green into a lighter green. I've changed the white into the same green uh, I've used pale pink salmon pink and instead of lemon I've also used the green so that I could cut down on Cotton changes for you all so we can get this done. So there's the hoop ready to go. We're going over to the machine now and we're going to sew the first row of stitches. Let's go. So step one is to hoop your water, your water soluble stabilizer, which I've done. And then it says hoop one layer and then stitch the first color of any of the files. So I'm ready to stitch. And what you do girls and boys is you put the color that you are going to use uh, for your um, for your lace so the lace color is the color that you put on your machine now that's the first thing you put on is the lace that saves us changing colors we don't have to use the first two colors because they are only a placement line and a stitching down or a tacking down line so don't need that put your first color which will be either your white I'm going to use green First one done. Now if you take the hoop off, get my scissors in a minute. And now if you measure uh, where that is stitched, that is the size that you are going to cut your fabric. Got blown on the floor. All right. 
So we've cut our piece of fabric and with the first piece of fabric with the with the stabler stabilizer already ironed on it we'll go over this particular stitched mark which is our placement line so i'm just and i've moved it over to the hoop so you you can see it so i'm just making sure i've covered the stitching line at the bottom and i've covered the stitching line at the top i pop the hoop pop the hoop back into the machine and then i'm going to stitch the next color This will do a zigzag stitch, and this zigzag stitch is going to stitch down our coat hanger first piece. Now that has stitched our fabric down, we are going to pull the hoop out of its holder or remove it. And we're going to trim the fabric as close as we can to the zigzag line um, to, to get rid of the excess fabric. So I'm just going to trim this with my scissors. Now can I stop for the boring part? Don't forget to turn your hoop, not your hands. And yes, you can now hit stop. You can hit stop. So Darlene's instructions are, add a layer of fabric, cover over the stitch guide and secure in place with 505 spray. We've done that. We've stitched the next one, which is the next one here that Darlene says, stitch and then carefully cut as close to the edge as possible without cutting the stitches to remove the excess fabric. And there it is. I've trimmed it all up nice and neatly. We're going to put the hoop back on now. Make sure our hoop's on. And then we are going to stitch the next row of stitches, which will be our lace. Now the, day, the lace will take a little bit of time to stitch, but we'll leave it alone now and it will stitch this beautiful lace edging around our, around our fabric. All right, we'll come back in about 20 minutes because it does take a while to stitch the lace on. Once the lace is done, we'll go to the next step. Okay, so we've stitched the lace, which on Darlene's printout is the white. I sewed it green. The next colour is the green, which will be the leaves and the stalks. So all we're going to do is change our cotton. Of course, you cut it at the top, pull it out through the needle. Never pull it backwards or you'll damage your machine. And put your next colour on, which is the green for the leaves and the stalks. Then go ahead and stitch that colour. We've just done colour four, we're now on to colour five, which is back to the white. Now, it's going to do all these lovely little scallop things in here. Now, I'm using green, so you'll see mine, it'll sew green. So now it's just a matter of changing your colour from your green uh, leaves to the white again. And of course, I'm using this um, ducky green, which is a green-yellow mix. So we we'll just re-thread the machine. And then we'll just hit start again. And if you have a look over here, it's telling me it's white. And it's all these leather leaves. Now that'll take a while to stitch, so we'll come back when all that's finished. We'll see you soon. So all of our white is now sewn, it's all stitched. It's come up to number number six colour, which is now the pink flowers. So it'll go pink flowers, pink flowers, 
which will be the inside, the outside, and then the yellow spots. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew those three. You don't need me to watch me change colours, but go ahead and sew the next three colours, which are your flowers. And then we'll be back. Okay, so we've now done the pale yellow, which was the centre of our flowers. The next one is a dark mauve. Put your lace uh, colour back on because the rest of it is going to be lace. So if you've done white, then put white on. Um, don't change it to the purple and the blue. The next row of stitching is going to be your placement line for your back. So if we hit start here, it will show you the placement line of where the back is going to sew. Once that's sewn, we will stop the machine, we will take the hoop off the machine, and we will place our backing fabric underneath our fabric and then continue stitching. So that's our, that's our uh, stitching line, our, our line of where we're going to put our piece of fabric. I'm going to take it off and we're going to go and put our backing piece of fabric that we cut before on these marks here. So we're going to cover that all up. So you're going to cover it all up. You can 505 spray it. You can um, pin it down. You can do what you like. I'm hopefully just going to be able to slip this in without any problems. And it should stay exactly where I put it, which it has. And I'm going to, going to go ahead and stitch the next row of stitches, which is the tack down uh, for the back. So it's going to tack the fabric onto the back for me. Once that stops, I'm going to take it back off the machine and trim that backing fabric. So we'll just finish this little tiny piece. And that has finished. Now we need to take the hoop back off again. We need to flip the hoop over and our backing piece has now been put on the back. So now what we need to do is trim our fabric as close as we can to our zigzag stitches. We're going to put our hoop back on and we're going to sew, sew the last lot of stitches, which is the satin stitching, which will satin stitch the whole piece together. So now that we've trimmed our fabric, all of, the, all of that's off, it's very nice and neat. We'll put our, put our hoop back on the machine and we'll sew the last lot of stitches which will be your white in your um, colour scheme. Of course I'm doing the yellow so and that's the last lot of stitches that takes about another six minutes and it's all done. And then we'll go from there. Thank you ladies for your attention. Okay, so all of the stitching has been done. I've got two left sides, two right sides, and to assemble, Darlene says, stitch the left and the right sides together using a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine, which I've done. And my darling should be able to zoom in there and show you that I've done this. So the next step, of course, it says, uh, then stitch the front to the back using the same method. So I'm going to now stitch up the side across the top, from across the top on this side, down to the side, and I will leave the bottom open so we can pop our uh, coat hanger in the middle there. And then I'll show you what to do with the, the little hook. And then when we put the little flower on, the little flower will go down here and that'll stop your coat hanger from falling off. All right, I'll be back as soon as I've zigzagged up the side, across the top, across the top and down the side. So, as per Darlene's instructions, I've sewn up one side, across the top. I had I, I missed the corner because I, I didn't I wanted to make sure that the lace was um, fairly well together. So it up the side, across the top, across the top, down the bottom, and then I started around about here and only stitched this much on the bottom so that I could still poke my coat hanger through 
um, but it wouldn't come out at all. So my coat hanger fits in there nicely like this, as you can see. And I'm going to pull it all the way up to the top. And now it won't come out. It's absolutely beautiful. It's still stiff, ladies. I haven't um, rinsed it properly, so it's still a little bit stiff. But just the actual patterns and how this is stitched is absolutely beautiful. Just a little trick my, my nana showed me years and years ago. Get yourself a little bit of lace with the little um, uh, hem in here, and if you thread that on the top of your on the top of your um, coat Ooh. hanger hook, it it actually finishes off the coat hanger. Now I don't normally have it this wide. I normally have it this wide, but unfortunately I didn't have any lemon on me. I'll get some when I'm out today before I I give this away, and then you just screw your little hook back into your coat hanger like this. And then I'll make a little ribbon rosette. And we're done. So I'll do a little ribbon rosette and then I'll put a little ribbon rosette here. So if you want to watch me do that, I'll be back in a moment. So there's our beautiful coat hanger cover. I'm just going to do a little ribbon rose and I'm going to attach it here. Just move that out of the way for you. I've got nine inches of ribbon and it's just a matter of Fold and roll, fold back and roll, fold back and roll. 